baby Milo. And you desperately need a bath and a cup, don't you, Milo? They get a bit scruffy over winter. So we're going to take his fur off short. I'm not doing as short as Ted. He's going to go on what's called a number seven blade. So I'll put a picture in of that. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to take his fur off first so that I'm not bathing and drying coat that's just going to be clipped off. Okay, so I bathed and dried. Um, I did a rough clip before. I'm just going to go over and finish him off with the clippers, mine, my love. Let's just get you nice and smooth. Because we fluffed it, because we dried him, he goes a bit fluffy. So we're just going to take all the excess off and then we'll come back and do his face. So Milo has been shaved all over. A rough clip. I then put him in the bath and dried him and then I've just gone over the clippers again just to um, take off any of the bits that once I've dried him I fluffed up. His colour's come out gorgeous now, he's lovely, he's like black velvet, look at him, he's gorgeous, aren't you? Gorgeous anyway. My bab, aren't you? Hey. So now we need to deal with this monstrosity of a head, don't we Milo? Tidy his head up. I've clipped him off from here short. So now I have to make this all balance. At the moment he's very unbalanced. Aren't he? Sorry, the noise, all the dogs are going mad. Go and sit down. Go on. I think it's because it's tea time nearly, isn't it? So I'm going to, very similar to the Asian fusion trim I did on Tilly, I'm going to take him from the bottom of his ear round here. But I've actually done him very short underneath. If you have a look there, he's gone short. So this is all going very, very short here. So I'm going to use a pair of curved scissors and I'm going to go from there, starting at the front, point them down Can you hear the dog's making a din? And I'm going up to his ear, but this time I'm going to go towards the top of his ear because I'm taking his head a little bit shorter than I did on Tiller's You see that shape there? And then I'll go in this way and I just want to clear out any excess from under there I've not clipped off. Will you behave you lot making all that din? So I'm going to take that little bit off there with the clippers. I've just got my finger under his chin and it just keeps his head still. it down he is going quite short and then I just ch turn them slightly to blend it in I'm going to use the bottom of his chin as a line to cut this is as I go in blunt I think I'm change to move along it forwards anything coming forward I'm going to take off on this nose right you like you're going out you're on the naughty step so anything coming forward I'm taking off I use these finer scissors 
Are you cold, Milo? Because I took all your fur off. Shivering, aren't you? I'll have to put your jumper on. So up to the top of his nose. And I'm going to take anything off that goes past it. And I'm just taking this a bit higher. I'm going to take that a bit shorter. I almost want his face, sort of the smell, to be up here. So if I lift that, that's going to be the edge. And all this is going to be part of the underneath. But you just need the shape of your scissors to do it. So they can have a nice cute face, can't you, Milo? So you can see, compared to how he was, Come on. How short I've gone. Look. And how it sort of brings his face up there, his cheeks um, look higher. So we'll do this side to match and then I'll come back. So I've done both the sides and now I'm going to do this bit underneath and it's going really, really short. I want the main focus of his face to be his cheeks here. Where he looks super cute. But also because he's short everywhere else. We haven't got long legs. I want him to look well balanced. I'll just tidy that up. Let me just make sure it's level. Come in, Mama. So now I'm going to do I've got my finger on the top and the bottom. I'm going to keep his mouth shut while I trim up this top lip. Get rid of all these sticky bits here. just in front of his nose there. This makes him look really cute if you clear that bit there. Tell her, behave yourself. Get your fine comb, comb it down and make sure you've caught everything. See how much neater it looks at this side. Oh, he's gorgeous, aren't you, Milo? Let's take some of that dark fur off there. Just check it by brushing it forward and see if we've got any straddlers. Handsome boy, aren't you? Eh? Handsome boy. And then... I'll blend this in in a minute. I'm going to go across the eyes, cut here, and then we'll look at his top. It's gone short from the back there, so I'll just use my blenders in a minute and I'll blend all this in. These are chunkers, sorry. Quite big and they take quite a lot out at once. I just want to blend it into the back. Brush the eyebrows forward. I'm going to cut a semicircle from one eye to the other. Make sure they're level. Tidy it up a bit. Shorter, I think, else we're not going to see your eyes, are we? Well, Tell 
take a little bit more off there because I want to open up the eye a little bit. Want to be able to see these gorgeous eyes, don't we, Milo? And then the last thing I'm going to do is get my fine blenders and just blend anywhere where we've got change of length or the shape and I'm just going to blend all the edges thin this out a little bit from under his eye because I want the main thing to be his nose popping and to do that just take a little bit out from here Gorgeous nose. It's gorgeous, isn't it, Mama? And then this stain fairy, I'm just going to trim that back. Clean that area up a bit, get rid of that. Again, I'm keeping his mouth shut because I do not want him sticking his tongue out while I've got scissors round here. And then just blending it all in. And the last thing I want to do is trim his ears. Put your head on my arm. So his ears are beautiful, absolutely beautiful long ears. And I'm in two minds as to whether to cut them or leave them because they're gorgeous. But I think so long they don't go with this trim. They don't go with this short body. So I'm just going to take them a little bit shorter. So let's turn that way, Milo. Come here. <laughs> it's been awkward. I'm just going to make sure his head's level and then run down his ear. I'm going to leave it the way it sits on his head and I'm going to take some off. But I want to make sure it's level so that when it sits, it sits right. Okay. Tidy it up and then check the level. Yeah. All right, we'll come back when we put a bow on. And there we have, stand, my gorgeous Milo. Look at that face. You're looking at your mum. Put your bow on. And there you go. Look at that face. Absolutely gorgeous, aren't you? Hey, good lad. A short body because I want to be able to manage through the winter short body cute face beautiful eyes rocking a pink bow aren't you milo yes you are hold on